Hello, hope you're having a great day. Now, this morning has been one where I have been a bit slow to get going with everything that I know I need to do in my morning routine. But, you know, once I've got the ball rolling, then I've just been flying through things, you know, with a bit of speed. But yeah, I did wake up feeling um, a bit uninspired, which is sometimes the way I think this whole week, basically, or maybe even before that, I haven't really had a day where I have got up bang on half seven and attacked the day even earlier on in the week when I had my beautiful girlfriend Kat's car and I had to pick her up in the mornings from a night shift I was still hitting the snooze button on my phone uh, my phone is broken so I can't use it as a phone but I am still able to use it as an alarm it still goes off at half seven and then yeah I found myself still pushing the snooze button which I am still able to push with my crack screen um, and and then getting up like 10 minutes later so yeah I haven't really had a, a morning this week that's been good enough even when I've needed to get up and um, yeah go and pick her up from work last night she took her own car to work so I didn't need to pick her up this morning and I think that was um, yeah my mind's excuse that it needed to uh, stay in bed even longer I hit the snooze button a couple of times um, and yeah when she rolled in at just past 8 a.m that was the point where I was getting up but um, yeah I just found it a bit of a struggle to get going which is absolutely fine you know it is what it is I can't expect to be uh absolutely perfect at getting up and getting going you know after a mere you know what just over a year of taking my life seriously you know after decades before that of you know never attacking the day so um you know I'm in a better place than I was sort of just over a year ago which I'm grateful for but um yeah I'm just I'm just not doing good enough like in general now this morning I have woken up with achy shoulders which I know is a regular thing nowadays also got this weird ache in my elbow joints as well which is quite a new thing but it has been around for um a while now and yeah I just woke up feeling like broken like it felt worse than I felt on Wednesday, which was the day after a boxing session. So, uh, yeah, waking up feeling fatigued and stuff, you know, it's a good thing. It means that even though I can see that I'm nowhere near my potential and that I can and should be doing more, it's it shows that I am working hard, you know. I'm waking up feeling a bit achy, feeling a bit tired, you know, so there's no denying that I am working hard every day. But, um, yeah, I'll still acknowledge that I could be doing so much more. Now, today, I would like to go to the gym with Kat once she's finished having her sleep. Um, but I do need to get the next video out on the other channel today. But because I sat up last night and done quite a bit of editing, um, that's a, a real possibility. And, yeah, I do think it is possible to get that video edited and go to the gym with Kat and finally go and sort out a new phone. So, um that's the plan for today. You know, a slow start has meant that, you know, I'm a bit behind where I otherwise could be. But, you know, that's in the past. I need to focus on now. I have already been for my walk around the block and I've written in my journal and meditated as usual before I turned on the camera. But right now I need to bang out a workout. And on Friday mornings, I think I'll do back. I'll have to check. Yeah, back session this morning. So I'll do some bent over rows with a bar. Then I'll do the bent over. I don't know what they're called. They're similar to rear delt, but you hold the dumbbells like this um, which sort of feels like it hits the back up there and then uh, third exercise I think I'll do these sort of variation on shrugs which I don't think is back but that'll be the three exercises two sets of each and then I need to jump straight in my cold shower have my breakfast and then get going with work because yeah I'm really behind where I could have and should have been at this point <laughs> All right, you now join me at half five, and I have managed to finish the video on the other channel that I shot yesterday and that I want to release this evening. So that should go up this evening, happy days. And I've just started editing yesterday's video on this channel, which of course I need to put up this evening as well. Now I actually started editing today even later, I was already going to be behind because I hadn't really, you know, attacked the morning as well as I could. But I had a bit of a nightmare with the egg poacher and it's not the first time 
Now, the thing with the egg poacher is if you let any of the egg get into the bottom where the water is, it just starts fizzing up uh, and the water starts getting into your eggs and it's an absolute nightmare. So that sort of happened and then I carefully pulled the top bit out like without wasting the eggs, cleaned the pan out, make sure there's no egg left in the bottom of it and then tried it again and whilst I was putting the egg cut bits back into it, more egg drips into the bottom so it started doing it again. So I literally threw those four eggs away, cleaned the whole egg poacher and started again and then when it got to the point where the eggs were actually cooked, it looked like it was doing it again. Like, But what had actually happened is one of two things either i forgot to put water in the bottom <laughs> which i've done many times before and i've actually ruined egg poachers or i put such a little amount in there that it had already evaporated um so yeah it didn't ruin the egg poacher the eggs were fine so i think i just didn't put enough water in the bottom of it but uh yeah it took ages to do my breakfast today uh and uh yeah, I nearly got the ump with it, you know, I was getting frustrated. But uh, yeah, after all that, I then eventually started editing and um, yeah, really happy that I've got the video done. Now, I wasn't able to go to the gym with Kat today. She's actually out now. She went to the gym and she's gone shopping and I'm also not going to have time to go and sort my phone today. I mean, it's already half five, it's Good Friday, so the shops are probably closing earlier, if anything. So I'm going to have to leave me sorting my phone out until tomorrow boxing tomorrow at 12 noon and then i would have liked to get round to the garage maybe but um yeah i'll go and sort my phone out instead yeah really need to sort my phone out but really glad that i have managed to keep my head in my macbook and at least get that video released i still need to go to the gym this evening for an arm and chest session that definitely must happen and um i think it's about time i had a haircut and a beard trim as well but right now i'm gonna have some lunch chicken and cheese sarnies as usual Got a load of salad in there, as usual. And because it's Good Friday, some toasted hot cross buns. All right, you now join me on the way to the gym. i just gone a half seven. So, you know, relatively early compared to some of the times that I go to the gym, but a bit later than I was planning to go to the gym, to be honest. But um, as is usually the case, the sort of final touches to um, uploading the videos, you know, doing the descriptions and thumbnails and posts and whatnot, took a bit longer than I was hoping. But everything is done and now I'm making my way to the gym as I say. I'm going to do an arm and chest session and what I'm going to do today is something I've told myself I'm going to do and my ego always comes in and I end up not doing and that is I'm going to go light with the weights and high reps. I think that's something that most people do every now and again anyway as like a sort of deload thing. I mean some people will literally have like a week off um, every now and again which, which I don't like to do but um, yeah, I'm gonna aim to do literally like two thirds of the weight of what I normally do. And the main reason for that is this shoulder injury that I've got, you know, sort of niggling pain in both shoulders that's there every day. It's been there for a while now. And I think I need to really, really, uh, you know, wimp out a bit until I can get this pain to go away. And also my elbows have started hurting recently, you know, my elbow joints. So. You know, I'm getting on a bit, so I don't want to like spend the rest of my life with these pains in my joints. So, you know, I think today's arm and chest session, it makes sense to go lightweight. That'll inevitably mean that I'm doing higher reps. You know, I'm still gonna go to failure, you know, or very close to. Um, I might not bother doing my upsets and my drop sets. So I'll just do three sets of all the, all the machines that I normally do on arms and chest. Because yeah, tomorrow's boxing session is at 12 noon, as it always is on a Saturday. So yeah, if I if I go light tonight, it you know it'd be giving my joints a, a bit of a rest that they clearly need, and I should still be all right for boxing tomorrow. So that's the plan. The other thing is I should be in and out of there really quick this way. And uh, yeah, just before I left for the gym, Kat was like, "Oh, when are you ready for me to do dinner?" I was like, "Well, I need to go to the gym." <laughs> so uh, this way it means Kat hasn't got to wait hours and hours to, to have her dinner. But um, yeah, I haven't got a phone obviously, my phone screen is cracked. Actually forgot to bring Kat's iPod with me as well. I've been taking my iPod with me to the gym um, just so I've got something to listen to. So yeah, haven't got that either. But yeah, you know, won't be able to film any clips. I'm not <laughs> confident enough to take my GoPro into the gym. Um, 
so yeah, I won't be able to capture any clips, but essentially I'm going to do my very fast, very steep incline walk, as I normally do, just for 0.6 miles, just to get my body a bit warm, and then I'll jump on the five machines I normally do on arms and chest, so chest press, pec fly, triceps extensions, seated dips, and bicep curls. That's the five machines I'll be doing, and uh, yeah, we'll see how, how long I can bang this workout in. Um, by the time I get in there, it's gonna be just gone 20 to eight. All right, so I was actually in and out of the gym in 40 minutes exactly. So yeah, really, really quick session. But you know what? I've definitely still got a pump in my chest and my arms. And to be honest, based on what I've experienced tonight, I think I'm actually gonna try and do those same weights just for a little while and see how I get on. At least until, you know, these niggling pains go away. Um, but hopefully, if I can keep my ego out of the equation, I want to try and carry on doing these lower weights just as an experiment, just to you know see how I feel and look over time. Um, yes, yeah, some of them machines that I just went on, I wasn't doing many more reps than I normally would, and deep down, I've known that I've been doing too much weight in the gym, you know, letting my ego come into it um, anyway. And that's part of the reason why I have sort of for ages, every now and again, sort of told myself I'm gonna do exactly what I did tonight as an experiment. Um, and yes, it's, it's definitely interesting. Like my chest pump, I hardly ever get a proper chest pump. Like that's, that's one thing, you know, maybe my form isn't as good or, or what, um, but yeah, chest pump is really hard for me to achieve. Um, but I've definitely got a chest pump today. Uh, it, it just feels different. I mean, arms as well. You know, on the arm stuff, you know, I was doing way higher reps than normal. Um, on the triceps extensions and the bicep curl, definitely in the first couple of sets of those machines anyway. Uh, doing way more reps than normal, uh, you know, because I'm doing lighter weight, right? But, um, yeah, the pump, it, it just feels different. Like, it's, it's still a big pump, but it just feels different. And I know from watching things online, that you know when you do lower weight and higher reps it will activate different fibers um, and it sort of gives you know the smaller fibers and your tendons and stuff a chance to sort of grow to catch up with the larger fibers so you know it's not like I haven't sort of had the knowledge that I should be varying my uh, weights and rep ranges um, it's just when you get in there your ego tells you that you've got to do what you did last time or more um, but yeah, tonight was interesting. Interesting experiment, and as a bonus, got out of this super quick, so that's all good. And one thing I have sort of learned from, you know, what I've watched on the internet and stuff, when you do do lower weights, you, there's more chance of you actually using the correct form and activating the correct muscles, which in turn can actually add to your gains. So, you know, it's a balance. Like, the more weight you, you push, the more adaptations you're gonna gain, right? The more, you know, the bigger your muscles are gonna get, the stronger you're gonna get. Uh, but there's a balance. If you go too, too heavy, then you just end up not doing the correct form. Your body brings in other muscles other than the one that, ones that you're trying to train, and then it, it negatively affects your gains. So I think where I should be is probably somewhere in between what I normally do and what I've done tonight. But um, yeah, it was interesting, as I say. And now I'm gonna be getting home, you know, about half eight, by the time I've had a shower and, and cats made dinner, it'll only be nine o'clock, so still got a good couple of hours of my evening left, which is awesome. So today I'm having my favorite dinner, and those of you who've been watching my videos will know that I've actually got two joint favorite dinners. I love them both equally as much. Steak and eggs, and either salad or vegetables, and chicken and eggs, and either salad or vegetables. So when I'm having my favorite dinner, obviously have to choose between those two dishes. Or I can just have both. Chicken and steak and eggs and vegetables. I feel like I've put on two stone just looking at this. It's half 11, so definitely time for me to go to bed. After dinner, I basically spent the rest of the evening just answering comments on the video that I put out today on the other channel and um, yeah, messaging a few people um, that got in touch with me about car stuff. 
and um, yeah, messaging a couple of people to do with what I've got planned for next week in terms of doing stuff for my cars and um, etc. So um, yeah, kind of think that I could have and should have spent a bit of time chipping away at the next edit on the other car channel because that is a video that I've been working on for a while. In fact, that video I was supposed to put out the last couple of videos, but um, yeah, haven't had a chance to finish filming it, but that's the beauty of being so busy. I can just rearrange things and change my plans to keep the content flowing. And, and yeah, just staying busy is um, hugely beneficial in terms of me keeping this weird life going, um, being a YouTuber. But yeah, tomorrow I've got boxing. Also really need to go and sort out a phone. Um, yeah, been living without a phone now for a week, I think it is. Um, and maybe I'll be able to squeeze in some time to get round to my other garage and bring my daily car home. Um, so at least I've got one car at home here in the garage. But yeah, either way, it's going to be really beneficial for me to wake up on time tomorrow and attack the day, which, if I'm honest, I haven't done for a while. But, you know, in general, I am still working hard and my life is still in the best state that it's ever been and um, I'm certainly in the best shape I've ever been it's just that I'm still sort of coming through the end of a bit of a lull in terms of motivation and, and whatnot but it's absolutely fine you know these are the ups and downs of life and I'm just grateful that I am in the best shape of my life right now anyway I need to go to bed I will be back for another video tomorrow for you guys that want to follow me on my day until then feel free to get in touch through my social media or drop me an email or just drop a comment below this video but other than that I'll chat to you tomorrow